I am the Harmony Coach, and we're gonna get right down to the content today because I don't want to lose you all, right? The comeback from failed relationship to the ultimate comeback. Is there something wrong with Deborah? No. There's nothing wrong with me. The first five years after my divorce, I needed to do what? Heal. I needed to heal. There's I needed to heal. Who doesn't want to heal? Some you are going through a relationship. You've had a failed relationship. You have to do what? You have to have time to heal. Either a relationship has failed. Thank you, Dan. Heal. We have to heal. So many times I see people trying to run out and get a replacement. People will appreciate you in your authenticity if you are being authentic authentic hello a relationship and have a thriving beautiful relationship you better have time to heal we're talking about coming back from a failed relationship to the ultimate comeback your next relationship hopefully you've learned something in your previous one right what does healing look like to some of us some of us unfortunately it looks like <laughs> get somebody on the rebound because we need somebody in our bed Ooh, healing means you take a moment of your time, a, an allotted time. Mind you, I knew I was healed. It took five years after my divorce. I've been divorced 12 and a half years. It took five years to beat me into the ground. It's okay he broke a piece off of me, but guess what? The Harmony Coach took five years to heal because I didn't know that I was broken. I didn't know that I let somebody abuse me so, so physically and mentally that I was broken. I was no good. Somebody say no good. For You've got to love yourself enough to love yourself back to healing. Don't jump up at the next man or the next woman that finds you attractive. Thank you. We are no good for nobody if our mind is not in the current moment and you live it in the past relationship. Will I ever get married again? There's no cut and dry answer. You hold the answer. This is a question from another viewer. Will I ever marry again? It's a concern for a lot of people. After 12 and a half years, I found myself saying, even if I don't marry again, I'm going to be my own best friend. Ooh. We can heal ourselves. We can love ourselves. We're getting into, we're going from one relationship to the next. And I won't say who's infamous at it, but we all know who's infamous at it. There's a lot of people that's infamous for a lot of things, and I don't want to be one of those. Twelve and a half years I've been divorced. Ask me if I'm happy. Do I look happy? Got two beautiful girls bringing me sun and rain. Some days I don't even know how I made it through the pain. But I pushed through the pain. I pushed through the healing. It's a process to your healing. Yes, you're going to let get a scar. Yes, you might need a band-aid. Yes, you might somebody need somebody to hold your hand and tell you, Girl, shake yourself. Boy, shake yourself. Don't accept mediocrity and don't allow somebody into your bed just because you need a warm spot hey, okay it's a process we're talking about comeback the comeback kid we're coming back from failed relationship to the ultimate relationship what does that look like again it looks like entering into a relationship with no what i wish i had a suitcase some of y'all got two and 50 more in the back seat. Be coming in in the next relationship with so much baggage, we can't even focus on the man or the woman that God has placed in front of us, if God placed them in front of us or her in place in front of us. Because we're too busy looking and trying to hold that baggage like, uh, mm. Honey, precious hearts, I've been there. And I also am guilty of trying to go into a relationship with baggage many years ago. I thought I was healed. I thought I was ready. Until somebody did something to me. And I was hurt all over again. And I knew I wasn't ready. 
And now, like I said, I'm to the point where, hey, you know what? If you don't want me, I'm not going to run after you. A man likes to be able to pursue the woman. That is natural and that's, that, that's statistical. That's right. Take time to heal. Don't just say, hey, pretty girl. Hey, handsome man. Because you're going through a healing process and you're missing somebody in your bed. We're keeping it real. Don't just get the next best thing because it looks good. Because everything that looks good ain't good for you. Uh, I killed that. I, I killed it. Really. So the question is, will you ever marry again? So to that woman who, or man who asked that question, the answer is simple. You hold it in your heart. If you want to, if you choose to, if you feel like you are that, feel you're at that point of healing, check yourself, go into the mirror, do a little self inventory, and I don't mean a face, I mean for real. Go into the mirror and tell yourself, or if, I love you so much. You are so beautiful. I love you so much. You have a kind heart. You have so much wisdom. You are appreciated. You, I appreciate you, girl. I appreciate you, man. You holding it down all by yourself. Don't need nobody around you. You doing good. If you can tell yourself these things in the mirror, guess what? You could be ready. And I say could because I don't want to tell anybody what they're ready or they're not. You know if you're ready or not. Put yourself before another. If you can look into the mirror and say, I love you. I am a phenomenal woman. I am a phenomenal king. I do great things for great people. I am amazing. I can grow my own roses. I don't need anybody to pick them for me and give me flowers because I know how to plant the seed and I know how to cut and I know how to prune and I know when to prune. I'm not going to allow anything into my life that does not belong. I'm not going to allow people in my life to degrade me, to demoralize me, to take away from the character that I have built. I'm not too good. I don't put myself above everybody else, but I put myself first because I know I deserve the best because I've had the worst Woo. I've had the worst of the worst I've been in that place where I've had eggs because I couldn't cook them right slammed up against the wall ouch Ow. here I am being a wife a mother doing what I can always wanted to be married wanted to just have that perfect picket fence and the everything but guess what reality came and literally slapped me across my face Reality came and came and tried to beat me down physically and mentally and emotionally. So those five years, it's been 12 and a half years I've been divorced. But I took five years to get myself together. Because ready or not, here I come. So when I can look in the mirror and I can say to myself, girl, you are all that and five bags of chips. Mm. I know. If you're asking yourself if you will ever be in a relationship again, I don't have that answer. You have that answer. If you've been battered, beat, broken, abused, busted, and disgusted, and left, and untrusted, you hold the answer. But I'm telling you as the Harmony Coach, you got to take time to heal. You've got to put yourself before another and put yourself first. If you can't look in the mirror and say those simple words, I love you. So, hopefully you can see, and by the way, there's a, so much more content, hello, content that we can work through together. If you are willing, somebody, you've got to be willing and able to be able to handle the truth to work with a Harmony Coach. We can get you through mountains, believe me. How do I know? I got a proven record. I've got testimonials. Hear about some of your relationships. I heard one person say they're going through the same thing. I'm not going through that. I went through that. I'm also a certified holistic life coach. 
and a bag of chips. But we talking about the comeback. From the failed relationship to the ultimate comeback. I've already stated a lot of this content. Like I said, I have a lot of content. That's why I listed my website, harvestinglifeslessons.com. We can work one-on-one. -on -one. You don't need to have a whole package. You may just need to have a conversation with me. I do free 15-minute consults. You have to go over to at Harvesting Life's Lessons on my Facebook page and click Request Time. And we will have that conversation. If you're struggling in your relationships, we'll have that conversation. And then I can tell you what I can offer you. But everybody is going through something right now. From the greatest, y'all know who I'm talking about. The CEO in command of our country. And we keep it at that. To the most bottom of the bottom of the bottom. And by the way, like I said, cream rises to the top. So it might you might have started on the bottom, but you're going all the way to the top. We're not going to let you fall. Believe me, I don't let people fall. I have my website speaks for itself. I have client testimonials on there. You can read how we work together. It's always been my dream to have a family. Never thought I'd be a single self with God's green. <laughs> holding it down all by myself. There's just so much to this content of relationships alone. But I hope I've inspired some of you to take action. Click follow me here on my personal page. And then, and then click request time. And we will talk about things. Okay. With all of that being said. How many feel a little bit better knowing they got to take time to heal? Okay, it's okay. Sorry, I got you. I got you. No, for real, I got you. If you think that you're by yourself, you're not alone. There's always somebody that's going to catch you. Thank God for technology. Because sometimes that's all we got. I'm just saying. Where I was yesterday is not where I am today. Where I was 12 years ago, thank you, Jesus. I am not back where I was 12, 12 years ago. It took me five years to heal from that divorce. I was so broken. I was so bitter. I hated the fact. I hated looking at a man. I hated looking at a brother. I hated even looking at a sister because I wasn't dark enough. Because I they thought I was bougie because I was light-skinned. They thought I was this and that. I got beat up at the motorcycle club or they tried to beat me up because I was light-skinned. Bye! Bye with all that. Bye! And the truth can hurt, but the truth can heal you. I want to help heal you. I want to help set you free. I want to help bring you back into the harmonious greatness that you are. I want to help you walk with your shoulders back and your head up high and know that you know that you know I am all that and I love me some me. And it's okay to say to people, no, thank you. I'm not interested. Thanks for the offer. Thanks for calling me beautiful. But... I'm not interested. That's what you're going to get. Because like attracts like. It really does. Words can break your spirit, but you can't overcome. Her and I are both harvesting life's lessons, all one word, on Facebook. Hit request time, or you can go straight over to my page, harvestinglifeslessons.com. Harvesting, what I offer is right there. Even to the point of the 15-minute free consultation conversation. I want to know, I want to know you. I want to talk to you. That's why I like to do the free consults face-to-face. -face. I want to see if you're a robot or if you're somebody in wherever trying to pull my leg, honey. I don't play that. I'm just saying. I have much more content, okay? The comeback, the ultimate comeback. From failed relationship to the ultimate comeback, the key is in your healing. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow with another juicy, uncut coffee chat with the Harmony Coach, Deborah Schrepper.